Science with Carrara. Part 1. The Amazon Delivery When Carrara holds down her elemental skill, she transforms into an urgent Nico parcel, henceforth known as Boxcat, increasing her agility for up to 10 seconds. Boxcat's most prominent feature is to scale great heights at a speed of 3.5 blocks per second. For comparison, characters usually climb at 0.9 to 1 block per second. Stamina consumption is increased to match the new speed, but it costs around the same amount to climb a given distance. If she approaches a cliff carefully, she can descend. As full control is maintained in this state, horizontal movement is possible and much faster than any other character. Once the skill expires, Kirara will reappear, but she won't be able to activate the ability again until she's on solid ground once more. Boxcat also grants improved speed akin to a sprint. This does not consume stamina, but regeneration is also halted. Travelling at 8.8 .8 blocks per second, she loses against Mona and Ayaka, 20% faster, Sayu, 40% faster, and Yelan, 55% faster. However, unlike them, Boxcat can jump and fall in transit, with no fear of death holding her back. Jump height increases greatly, ascending to 2.5 blocks instead of the regular 1.5. This allows her to bypass obstacles and harass Geo Samachurls. Kirara will reappear automatically if falling unprompted for 0.8 seconds. If preceded by a jump, this time limit is extended to 1.7 seconds. Part 2 Corrugated Cardboard Kirara's elemental skill produces a Dendro Shield lasting 12 seconds. When tapped, the shield is created immediately with an 8 second cooldown, allowing for 100% uptime. When held, the shield is also created immediately, but the cooldown starts when Boxcat expires. However, if Boxcat has made contact with anything during its travels, it will create a weaker shield as it departs. This effect stacks up to 3 times. Unlike other shields, when this one is refreshed, it will stack with itself, up to a cap, instead of being replaced. Starting without a shield, three boxcat collisions are enough to cap the shield strength. 100% shield uptime may be achieved if you do not use boxcat for the full 10 second duration, or a very marginal downtime if you do. The duration is still renewed to the full 12 seconds. Part 3. Sharp Edges Kirara unleashes a dendro damage attack upon tapping her skill, or a larger one when boxcat expires assuming she's grounded at the time. Both of these attacks produce three elemental particles. A travelling box cat will deal dendro damage to enemies within a radius of 1.5 blocks every 0.5 seconds. This is subject to the standard internal cooldown on elemental application, but it also follows the three hit rule, so expect up to two dendro applications every 2.5 seconds. In addition, Boxcat will produce one elemental particle on a 4 second cooldown, up to 3 in total, or 6 when including the final strike. Part 4 GHS 01 Explosive Kirara's elemental burst unleashes a large blast with a radius of 7.5 blocks, centered 3.5 blocks ahead. As it explodes, it produces 6 to 10 cat shaped bombs, depending on the first constellation. Their behaviour is similar to Klee's bombs, exploding when they detect an enemy within a 2 block radius. The blast itself is slightly larger, with a radius of 2.5 blocks. As expected, Fenty's burst does not affect them, but others such as Kazaha and Jean may do so. Part 5 Unsorted Packages Kirara applies Dendro to herself when using her skill. If she is wet at the time, this will produce a Dendro core. Additionally, if she is still wet when Boxcat expires, another Dendro Core will be produced. The final strike of Karara's elemental skill can trigger the Sacrificial Sword's effect, but Boxcat collisions will not, as there is no cooldown to reset at the time. Karara has great synergy with the key of Kajna Soot, with each Boxcat collision causing a stack of its buff. Timmy was looking forward to his new delivery of bird feed. Despite a coerced 5-star review, Timmy has now cancelled his subscription with Comania Express.